people have been asking me to um, put some of my work online. I am lazy and I'm a terrible camera person, but bear with me. I, I'm, I'm finally doing it. So anyway, these here are some necklaces that I'm doing. I haven't clasped them yet. They're not anywhere near finished, but just thought I'd put them out. Uh, this is some of my chainmail work, um, which I've done into bracelets. And this one has a pretty little magnetic catch on the end of it. And it just goes together like that. Pop it off. And that's what it looks like on. These are copper and brass. Or no, actually they're copper. And um, gold plated. As is this one, but it has a very pretty box clasp on it. This one I used gunmetal rings, some copper fittings, and some gold plated links. And the video, sorry, it doesn't come out as well as I would like it to. It's weighty. It's a nice piece. And then that one has a slide clasp on it. I can't do that one-handed. <laughs> This one is made of copper and bronze and gold plated rings. And it's quite large. It has a nice weight to it. I have not um, put clasps on it because I wanted to, I will custom do that for uh, for whoever buys it. Um, let me see if I can zoom in. And, nah, it's not going to focus. And these don't show well at all on, on the camera. They're, a, um, they're actually a very nice matte brown glass beads. And over here are some of my necklaces. I work with a little bit of everything. Um, frequently I will just take stuff out and start working with it. Get out the pliers and the wire and a bunch of, well, there's a little bit of everything on here from glass to beach glass to um, evil eye beads, glass beads, lamp worked beads, cane glass, crystals, a little bit of everything really, but that's, that's kind of my style. Um, this is what I refer to as one of my fireworks pieces. Um, let me put that in the light and see if I can get it better. 
this is this is heavy um it needs to be used on a a, a thick hat maybe or um a coat um but be warned this is it's a commitment to wear this it's it's uh um Oh. And I'm sorry, I'm a terrible camera person. This one is signed. My work doesn't come cheap. Um, but the hours that go into pieces, um, you can't just give away. These are not mass produced. They're absolutely one-off. I can't do the same thing twice to save my life. And this is a brooch. I just want to kind of... I left this the back off of this so that you could see how um, the front of it is made. Uh, the back of the finding has a lot of little holes in it, and you actually take them from through here and then up to the top this one's actually quite pretty it's 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 amethyst and um beads that that sort of they're like they're a b they're um these are like gunmetal and some gold and some um uh, <laughs> totally spacing. Anyway, the purple stone, amethyst. Thank you. <laughs> and here's a another similar piece. These are big. They're kind of heavy, like I said. My grandmother always wore what I called coat pins, or my mother called them coat pins. Um, and these just were inspired by whatever she wore whenever she left the house she was she always had a coat pin on this this piece let me get some stuff out of the way here This piece is, oh gosh, it's too bad that the colors aren't coming up. Well, maybe they are. Um, these are all hand-sewn. Every, everything on here is hand-sewn. Uh, they're fringed. They're puffy. This will have a leather back and a brooch pin and uh, a lot of these I can also, if you want, put um, hair clips or combs on them. Uh, and this is one of my favorites, and it gets a lot of attention. Um, I've never figured out what to call these. They sort of remind me of an anemone. Um, there is... The individual beading and then around the corner around the, the end I put bugle beads with a little tiny crystal bead on the end of each one gosh just wish I knew how to photograph these better or <laughs> how I can get better this is a piece that if you look at my other video that has the the jacket on it um, this piece is actually going to become one of the cuffs and these are all hand done and there's gold and there's bicolor black and red and very red and beautiful gold beads they just don't seem to be showing. I hope I might put up the video. They look better than they do right here. Um, 
this is yeah. Let's see if I can get some better light on it. This is um there's some faux pearls, which are the very large ones. Um, there are a number of okay. freshwater pearls that are also incorporated into this. Again, this is a very heavy piece. Um, and it's got beautiful brown crystals. They're AB, and they've got different gold tones and... Um, I just wish I could get this. To look better on film. Or... These pieces... Um, are also based on that same finding. Um... That had the, uh... You can't see these, they're... All bugle beads. These can, uh, again, these can either be worn as a brooch or uh, I can put a, a, a barrette on it or a comb. Uh, they're a popular item of mine, actually. Anyway, that's just some of it for right now. This is terrible camera work. Um, I should be ashamed of myself. <laughs> but, uh, oh gosh, there's not even enough to... These are some of the other ones. This is another kind of my my stuff. It's all like I said. Nothing's the same place, same way twice. Um, I don't pigeonhole easily. <laughs> There's nothing really balanced about me. Anyway, these are just some of the stuff you've been asking to see so there it is um and one of these days i'll figure out how to do this thanks for bearing with me